and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Um, today I want to talk about hypnotherapy and explain a little bit what happened when I went for a hypnotherapy session and just a little review about it basically. So hypnotherapy is basically just hypnosis and it's used as a, like a form of therapy for many different things and I came across it quite randomly just looking for alternatives um, to like counselling whilst I was still waiting um, to have counselling done on the NHS. So I came across it and I was just like, mm, I'm not sure about this, like is this really going to work? And I think the first thing that came to my mind was like, this is going to be very similar to the stuff that you see on TV. So I was kind of like, I don't know if I believe this, like does this really work? Like I don't know, I just felt really like funny about it. But I thought, you know, I'm just going to give it a go because what have I got to lose apart from a little bit of money? So I did a bit of research into, you know, where you could have it done and sort of like what people were saying about it. And I found it very important to actually look to see if the people that were offering it actually had like their own website and more importantly had a picture of themselves. Now that may sound really weird, but I felt like um, I needed to know what the person was going to look like in terms like for me to know if I was going to feel comfortable. Um, and that might just be something that I sort of, I don't know, found important. But I just felt like I wasn't going to feel comfortable around someone that I thought was a bit creepy or something. Um, and I have had like um, therapy sessions in the past where the person has been a bit funny or a little bit creepy. And then I've immediately not felt comfortable. So I thought I'm not going to make the same mistake again. And, you know, try and find someone that I thought looked nice and just looked, um, I don't know, that I could trust them basically. So I found this woman and she um, was offering hypnotherapy for anxiety and for like loads of different things. And I think um, the sessions were about £50. Um, there are some that are a bit more expensive. I think I saw some as, you know, expensive as like £200. And I thought, you know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to try and go for one that's a little bit cheaper. Because if it doesn't work, at least it, I wouldn't feel so bad about losing that amount of money. So... Um, I made an appointment and on the day I obviously like I went to um, her office which she had in her house which I thought was quite nice because um, I think I would have found it difficult to have something like that done in like a clinical setting and um, so it was nice to sort of be like in a nice sort of cosy environment and somewhere that just felt like I was sort of at home because like at the time when I went for this session I was actually like almost housebound so I really struggled with going out of the house and I was anxious in almost every situation um, so I myself like, I was quite shocked that I managed to go to the actual session um, but I think it was that sort of idea of it being like something that could really help me and yeah I had a lot of hope in, in it at that point I was just like you know this could really help me and I could I don't know I could maybe be less anxious um, so the first thing we did was actually talk about my anxiety and talk about the symptoms that I have. Um, for example, that I felt dizzy all the time or that I would have like stomach problems um, and that I'd have headaches and stuff like that. And then she explained that she would like, sort of include those symptoms in like a pre-written script that she had, which she would be sort of reading off um, whilst I'm under hypnosis and sort of um, read it to my subconscious, I guess. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And she explained that if at any point I felt uncomfortable or I didn't sort of want to be like under hypnosis anymore, then I could just sort of get myself out of it. It wouldn't be like that I can't do anything. Like you're still very much aware. Um, so that made me feel a lot better because I guess it's sort of weird because you don't really know what to expect. Um, so then it got to the actual hypnosis part and she uh, told me to sit on this like comfy chair and sort of just relax myself and think about a place that I felt comfortable in. Now I was sort of like really put on the spot. I was like, oh my God, like I don't know what to say because right now I feel comfortable at home and I don't like going anywhere else. So do I think about a situation that I like but I currently feel anxious in or like what do I do? And I was like really worried about this one question. Um, and she, I then actually ended up thinking about the beach here in Germany, which really, really helped me. So I thought about that and she was like, you know, imagine where you are and imagine what like, um, you actually like, what you can feel around you. Like if you're at the beach, like feel what the sand is like and whatever. And like, I wasn't really responding to her. She was just telling me all this. And I like occasionally had to like raise my hand or like move my fingers or something just so she knew that I was like listening to her. And then I remember her saying like, oh, you need to imagine like going through a corridor 
and imagine what it's like and like go down these stairs and then like you go for this like door which you have to really really imagine it and I do think if you're not very good at like imagining stuff or you have got like a really crap imagination um you're gonna find it quite difficult so yeah you had to think about this door and like once you go through the door you're like in your happy place basically and I can't remember much of what happened like I do remember bits um but I just remember being really relaxed and I think I was focusing so much on this like on the beach and being there that it almost felt like I was actually there um and all the while like she was talking to me and telling me all this stuff and like sometimes I had to sort of like react to what she was saying in terms of like raising my hand or something but never did I feel like I was sort of like out of the hypnosis I just felt like I was just gone basically it sounds weird but I could still I still knew what was going on but I just wasn't in the room as, as such um and then she spoke a little bit about like my symptoms and stuff like that and made me like imagine them and like she was like you know you need to like have an anxiety attack now like you know um imagine you're feeling like you you do when you're anxious um and then she said something and she said about like taking that uh symptom and changing it to something else and then I'd immediately feel better um and it was weird how that sort of immediately worked a little bit for me and I think it is something that I still subconsciously do now um not with everything sadly um but anyway I was obviously then like under this hypnosis and I don't think it lasted that long I think it was like maybe 20 minutes or half an hour I don't know and then she did other things and spoke to me and all of that um and again I can't remember all of it but I remember her at the end saying okay I want you to sort of like slowly get yourself out of it and she was like you know take your time like if you want to stay you know in this little um little weird bubble for a little bit longer then that's fine and I literally felt like thinking oh my god like I don't feel that hypnotized but I feel like um I feel like just comfortable here like I just if I could stay here that'd be great like I can just carry on my life in here that's fine um and I think I slowly st sort of started to get out of it and I kept thinking I don't think I'm actually that like under hypnosis like I don't feel that like I don't know that I was like does this really work I don't know um but it wasn't until like I actually sort of slowly like started waking up that I was like oh my god like I was really gone like and it just sort of hit me and I literally was so overwhelmed that I cried <laughs> I was like I feel so weird and so weirdly relaxed and just for that short amount of time nothing mattered it was just literally that and I had nothing to worry about it was just that situation and that's it um and I've never ever felt anything so like refreshing like it's it's so weird to explain um and she would she just remembered I just remember her saying to me like you know it's you've done really well for the fact that you're someone who is housebound and doesn't really like new situations and and finds it hard to leave the house for you to be this relaxed like in your first session with someone you don't know um and I honestly was quite surprised myself, to be honest. Um, so yeah, like even just that one session really helped me. And I do think having something like hypnotherapy done, um, even if it is just to sort of get rid of a bit of stress, like let's say you have like a really stressful job or something, um, just to have like an hour out of the week or out of the month, just not have to worry about anything is absolutely amazing. Um, and again, it's like, it, it has helped me in some ways. There are still a lot of things that I struggle with. And obviously, you know, I don't think it is something that can just help you after one session, like to a point where it's like, oh, you're done now. Like you're, you're not anxious anymore. You're like completely new. Maybe some people feel that, I don't know. Um, but I definitely will be looking into having more sessions done here in Germany. Obviously I'll have to go to someone else, but you know, it's just one of those. Um, but I honestly think it is something everyone should try. Um, and again I was one of those people that was like I don't believe this this is going to be crap like I don't know um and I genuinely enjoyed it I <laughs> think it's the best thing ever basically so yeah that's my raving review about hypnotherapy um if you have any questions or anything I'll try and answer them um and yeah you should get it done or not who knows and um, that's it bye